Hi and welcome to another simple tutorial from me, Stuart of Infinite Fire. Today I'm going to create a quick, well relatively quick, drum and bass beat a la The Mighty Pendulum. And this beat is the kind of bedrock for a song like Watercolour or Witchcraft on which Rob Swire then builds the rest of the track, adding in fills and extra percussion loops to flesh out the rhythm and keep it interesting. I'm going to make it in Reason, although I've got Reason running in Record so that I can reference my beat against uh, an audio input here uh, of uh, the track Watercolour uh, to make sure I'm, I'm getting the right sound that I want. So let's begin. I'm going to start with a combinator and in it a Line 62 mixer and a Redrum drum computer. Right click on the Redrum and select Initialize Patch. Uh, so that we start with a blank slate. And first we're going to concentrate on the kicks. With any beat like this, layering is the key. Uh, this means we'll build our kick sound out of layers of kick samples, EQ'd and compressed together to make them sound like one composite sound. I've selected two kick samples here, each one chosen for a reason. The first is a hard kick with a snap to it that will provide the initial transient of the kick. The second is a lower bass drum with more of a thud. Neither has a lot of boom such as you might get in hard house music, for example, as pendulums, kicks and snares are particularly tight and dry. But together, these two will combine to punch through and drive the mix. So when you've sourced two good kicks like these, put both samples on the first and the uh, sixth half beat of a 4-4 bar. That's position 1 and 11 on a redrum set to 16 steps. Uh, and if you play that back, you'll get a good, uh, should have a good punchy kick sound. But my first kick is slightly overpowering the sound, so I'm bringing the level of that down to 90 in redrum here. Now uh, you want to hold shift and right click and create a spider merger and splitter down here. Holding down shift uh, means that it doesn't automatically connect to the other devices. Call this device kicks, and then if you flip it round, and you want to wire your two kick samples into the into the merger, and then the output back into uh, number one in the mixer. Ignore the, these EQs and compressors I've got down here at the moment. We've now merged the two samples together, so we can process them with some EQ. So right click on the spider device and create an M-Class equaliser. That should automatically uh, wire itself up. Turn on the low cut to slash out any subsonic noise from the sound. Turn on low shelf and move the frequency dial to around 88 hertz. Drop the gain to 8.6 decibels and widen the Q to about 0.6. This will cut out any excessive boom from the samples and ensure we get a tight sound. Turn on parameter 1. Boost the frequencies around 140 hertz by 5.7 decibels with a Q of about 2. Turn on parameter 2 and boost the frequencies around 2.3 kilohertz by 4 decibels with a Q of 3.7. That's to make sure we emphasize the snappy transient of the first kick sample. Now right click on this equalizer and create a second M class equalizer. Pendulum's kicks have a lot more energy in the 80 to 100 hertz region than the 50 to 60 hertz area, which is a technique that Prodigy also used, for example. So we're just going to emphasize that. Turn on parameter 1 and boost around 90 hertz by 4.6 decibels with a Q of about 3.3. And you should have that little curve there. If you take a listen to that, you should have a, a nice tight kick sound. Just without the EQs and then with Now for the snares. Uh, in fact, no, now we want to right click on that equalizer, sorry, and create a, uh, an M-Class compressor. We're gonna use this to, to tame any spikes in the sound and glue the samples together. Set the threshold to minus 22 decibels and the ratio to about 5.3 to one. You should al already be able to see and hear the compressor doing its work. We want a, a attack time of 41 milliseconds. Uh, it's just enough to let the transient snap through and a fast release of about 188 milliseconds. Then drive the compressor a little by turning the input gain up to three decibels. Now for the snares. Now I've got three snare samples here. One is a short, dry, i.e. no reverb snare with a good 200 hertz -ish transient, uh, just like those pendulum use. The other here is again a dry snare sample 
but much splashier with a lot of activity in the two kilohertz range if you looked at it in an analyzer. Pendulum used this kind of sound a lot, a real splashy dry snare with a lot of high frequency presence. And everything I'm about to do is designed to emphasize that. So my third snare there isn't a snare at all, it's a hi-hat. A closed hi-hat with a nice high timbre to it that will sit on top of my other two layers and really add presence. I've layered these three together uh, and placed them on the second and fourth beats in the bar which are number 5 and 13 on the redrum in a new pattern bank. Now we'll do the same EQ and compression technique to shape the sound and glue these together. Create a merger and splitter, wire your three snare samples into it and wire it out into a new channel on the mixer. And you should hear that they're all playing together. And then uh, right click on that merger and create an M class equalizer again, which I've got down here. I'm going to turn on parameter 1 and parameter 2 and boost the two all-important pendulum frequencies, 200 hertz by 5 decibels with a narrow cue of about 6.4 and 2.3 kilohertz by 4 decibels with a cue of about 3. Then for added shimmer and presence, I've turned on the high shelf and raised everything around 5.2 kilohertz uh, by 4.6 decibels with a cue of 0.66. Right click on that and create a compressor which I have down here, and compress everything over 23 decibels by 5.7 to 1 with a very fast attack of 8 milliseconds and a release of around 160 milliseconds. And again, drive the compressor by raising the input to about 3.4. And that's it. You should have the main kick and snare pattern. Uh, you might notice I've not added any reverb or delay or any of the usual effects you might get in dance music. That's deliberate. The pendulum sound is quite a dry one, which is a bit of a trend at the moment. Most of the effects come from the mastering process, as far as I can tell by listening. But to finish off our watercolour beat, we need a little hi-hat pattern sitting behind the kick and snare. I've sourced this uh, open hi-hat sample here, but I, as you can see, I've shortened the length down to about 50. Um, to make it sound more like the one Rob Swire uses in watercolour. Select a new pattern bank and then drop this onto number 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 10, 11, 13 and 15. But to, make it, uh, to make it kind of skip a little, I've made the hi-hat on number 1 and 9 a hard hit by adjusting this to hard here. Uh, but in this song the, the dynamic isn't that pronounced so I've turned the velocity dial on this sample down to 14 so the hard, head, hard setting will only affect the volume slightly. We put all this into the sequencer so you create three note lanes uh, called one kicks, one snares and one hats. Right click on pick your kick pattern here, uh, right click copy pattern to track and do that three times making sure they're each in the right one. So you can see here my two kick samples in this note lane there are my three snare samples and in the final lane here is my hi-hat skipping along and uh, there you have it a real basic uh, start to a nice pendulum beat and then my finishing touch is really just to pan that around in the mix so keep the kicks smack in the center but it helps if you try and visualize a drummer on stage so hi-hats are often to the left so I've got those panned minus 10 to the left and I've put the snares opposite 10 to the right with, with the kicks in the center uh, and that's it a nice pendulum shaped building block on which to construct your own stadium busting massive drum and bass edifice I'm off to see the guys themselves in July supporting the prodigy so we'll see you there pendulum fans uh, check out my website at www.infinitefiremusic.com for more tutorials and blogs about my own music making adventures. Uh, follow me on Twitter at, at sign infinite fires. Some Chinese person had already stolen infinite fire. Uh, and keep an eye out for my first track, Manifesto, which is going live on the website soon. <laughs>